live with Susan Faulkner Evans and Bo. We're in the warm up. We're going right into the serpentines because we found that doing the a lot of transitions through the serpentines helps him stay more connected. This is Susan Faulkner Evans on Bo, by the way. And they're competing in second level. That's it. Keep them on the eights. Even feel on both sides of the rain. This is, I think, the seventh or eighth time we've asked Bo to stay on the bit. It's been a problem of his in his training. He just didn't like somebody in his mouth. Even coming from the leg was hard for him. So now for second level, he has to be on the aids. He's got to have an even feel on both reins and come from behind. Good. Now remember, you've got to supple him before he changes gait. So you start suppling here. Yes, you want to start suppling a lot sooner. Good. So now you're going to start suppling right here. Supple sooner. That's it. There, that way he stays more together in the gates. And then send him forward into your rein. Nice feeling on the rein, Susan. Good. Supple him more when you come down because you can feel his nose come up. So if his nose is coming up, he's not supple enough from the front to ask him to step into that. Supple. That's right. Good. Good. That much. Try not to give the rein away as much because in second level, they'd like to see the rein stay consistent. Good. Supple him more. That's your key word now. Supple, supple, supple. And the kid, keep him up there with your Good. He's getting bigger now. Feel it? Supple him more than you think he can do. Good. That's it. Good. That's what he needs. Supple more. Now, if he gets stuck a little bit, you can start adding on the short sides. You can do one half circle. You can do a shoulder in. The second half, you can do the haunches in just to give him something different to do. Supple him more. Good. Yep, either shoulder in or haunches in. More activity, more activity. That's it, more activity. Good, supple more. So when you give him more activity, his tendency is to throw his nose up like any other horse. So remember, when you add the activity, make sure he's supple through his jaw and his pole. Good. Needed, you knew what that was, more suppling. He's going to be a little surprised because this is, we've added something else. Just when he had the routine down. Good. Supple him more. More energy. Good. Supple him more. Yep, he should stretch at the end and beginning of every transition. Just a mini stretch. That's right. Supple him more. Think shoulder in. Bring his, or whichever one you're doing there. Bring his shoulder in more to the point of his chest, to the, the inside shoulder. That's all right. He's picking up his back. Good. That's it. Supple him a lot more. Supple him. Yep, supple him. Put him against. That's it. Keep him on the outside rein and leg as you supple him. That's all right. He might go a little sideways at first. That's all right. Good. You just want him because you're balancing between your rein and legs on the same side. We're using the inside rein and leg as his inside hind is off the ground. The outside rein and leg is his outside hind is leaving the ground. Supple him more. Think shoulder in. See how loose you can get his neck. Looser. So he gets that nice big arch and he's lifting his back. There. You can feel it's his back lifting, which is creating the neck and not just a headset. Take your time. Good boy. Oh, he says that's a hard exercise. Now keep checking him as you feel him walking. He wants to take control again, right? So supple him, put him back under your seat and expect him to stay where you want him to now. That's right. Now, if you're taking a break from the serpentines, go ahead and do the walks and keep him supple and up in his back. That's it. Let's see a little collected walk. Supple him. Good. Get him more active. That's it. Now sometimes to get him more active you can go into a medium walk which as you know is a longer frame. The trick is to keep him supple as you switch into the medium rein. Good. He needs to stick his nose, open his throat latch up more until you feel like he's nodding his there. More energy. Good. Into a lengthening. Supple him all the way down. That's right. More energy. More energy. That's it. Good. He's over tracking nicely. Good. That's a stretch. Good. Now when you pick him up from the stretch, make sure you pick up a little bit of contact. Good boy. 
Okay, from a stretch to a medium, get them stretch them. Remember, supple on the supple on whichever rein you're going to use three times. Shift them over to the other rein with your inside rein and leg or outside, whichever one you're using at that time. That's it. Keep the activity. Good. That's it. Keep him thick in the base of his neck because what he tries to do is to drop his base of his neck and that's when he's dropping his back. That's it. More activity. Now you feel where he gets a little stuck? As soon as you feel him get a little stuck, you're either going to make it more of a medium or collected to see if you can get him to loosen up his back and neck. So just feel when he locks up a little. That's an opportunity for you to try something different to get him to give you his head and neck more. That's it. Good. I like how you used your legs to keep him up there. That's it. Get him to give you his neck more. Supple his jaw, supple his jaw until he gives you his neck. There, there. Try not to let the rein go completely as you do it. That's it. Do you feel how long his neck is getting? Now lift up his pole with your outside rein. There. Good. Keep his pole up. Hard to keep that pole up with that Frisian he's got in him. Oh, it's actually a Frisian Swedish warm blood cross, which is a very nice cross. Good. Okay. She's going to go back to the serpentines now with the canter trots. I'm going to turn this off and start over again.